Young scientists, filmmakers, educators, we are Ocean Scientists for Informed Policy. Join us as we travel to Lima, Peru for the United Nations Climate Change Conference and dive into pressing ocean issues and their connection with international policy. So I came to Peru with this idea that it was steeped in traditional culture and had a very rich connection to its land, its ecosystems, and its food. One of my favorite things to do when I travel is to eat food. I grew up traveling a lot and moved around a lot as a kid. And at each location, we would eat food from that place. And so meeting new people and eating new and maybe strange sounding food became like a big part of my personal identity. Maybe you can think about food as this way to connect people from across the globe. I have this idea that Peru has the potential to grow all kinds of different food in one country because it has varied climate regions. Because it hosts all of this biodiversity, as Peru gets hit with climate change, it has a lot to lose. A lot of communities are going to face uncertain weather patterns, they're not going to know when to, to, to plant and when to harvest, um, they're not going to know what crops will be able to survive the new harsh extreme weather. You're going to either have to change the way that you grow food or you're going to have to change the food that you grow and that will inherently impact any food culture that's attached to that agriculture. The issues surrounding feeding a global population are in a really critical place but seafood is at the top of that. Some fish right now in Lima that have problems, like, like the flounder, the sea bass, have problems because they are not, they're not too much, so we're trying not to, not to buy it. We don't have that, you know, that luxury anymore. Yeah, some restaurants probably pay you know, for the fish of the day, but no, not for the major of the market, no. The majority of people on Earth live on the coast and a large part of the protein that we eat comes from the ocean. We're in a really critical place. We need to get smart about eating food, but we really need to get smart about eating seafood. So we need to be mindful about the way we eat from the ocean, and we also need to be careful about the choices we make that influence the ocean and the globe as a whole. In a way, even on a small scale, even at a local scale, when you're sharing food from different cultures, you're sharing culture. I guess I feel like if no one is listening to climate change, I'm afraid that they won't listen until we get to a point where it's as dramatic as we can no longer have this food.